right, let's talk about what was installed with Logic Studio. Well, the applications, of course, you saw the list that in the uh, previous video, but it gave us a lot of content, some Apple loops and instruments, uh, GarageBand instruments, GarageBand loops, things like that. So if you want to find out where they are and exactly how much space they put, all of the Logic installed files, you go to your Macintosh hard drive, you go to library, and we'll start here at audio. You'll see Apple Loops. You'll see Apple Loops for GarageBand, for Soundtrack Pro, for iLife sound effects, uh, jam packs, and these are you know your GarageBand jam packs. So if you want to command I any one of those folders, you'll see how big they are. So Apple Loops for Soundtrack Pro is the one of the biggest parts of this library. It's almost 23 gigs. That's massive, right? Well. A lot of them are really nice Apple loops with instruments. A lot of them are sound effects. Uh, so you've got, you know, your airport. You know, so these are sound effects, and that's a big chunk. You know, two gigs right there just of sound ideas, um, just for Soundtrack Pro. Apple loops for GarageBand. If you wanted to see how many, we're looking at 100 megabytes. Not that bad. I life sound effects. Um, I'm not sure if those were installed with Logic or with iLife. Probably with iLife, but this is anyway where a lot of your audio stuff is. It's in this folder, and this is what's installed with the software. Now you have a duplicate folder in your user drive or your user directory. Go to your user library audio, and you'll see a lot of things there, and you'll see, well, they're empty because I have yet to create anything. So that's where a lot of stuff is. So keep that in mind if you want to go searching for stuff. Those are two really important folders. Now the second folder, or the third, however, want to look, you want to, however way you want to look at it, um, I tend to think of those two folders as uh, the same, the same content or the same, you know, structure, but ones in your user, ones in the Macintosh hard drive. So let's uh, go back to your Macintosh hard drive library. And instead of audio, let's go to application support and then all the way down to logic. Now, this is where a lot of our stuff is channel strip settings. Um, so, instruments, they'll show up here. Um, your bus channel strip settings, um, your, your factory samples, key commands, all kinds of stuff are in here. Uh, your, your project templates are in here. So, you could open one of these and you know, you save your own in your user directory, but this is where the project templates are stored, the sampler instruments, the um, UltraBeat samples. Now, what you'll notice is in my installation, I already had GarageBand installed. But if you look at the library over here, you'll see here's GarageBand and here's GarageBand. So I've got two of them. And if I refresh this library, you'll see they're in two places. Well, you might not want that if you get a computer that already has GarageBand installed and um, you install Logic on top of it and you've got two things there. You'll probably want to get rid of that. So this is these are channel strip settings, okay? And the reason we know this, and I've done a video tutorial all about this so you can look at it and it, it'll explain exactly what channel strip settings are in audio unit presets. Uh, that might not mean a whole lot to you right now. Don't worry about it. Down the road, when you start saving your settings, you'll want to know and you'll come find out. But for now, those are channel strip settings, and we're looking at um, at the instruments right here. And I want to go searching for where are those um, instrument uh, channel strip settings and why are they showing up duplicated there. So. Let's go searching, shall we? Well, I searched far and wide, and I have to say I was completely stumped. I had no idea because everything that I know about Logic Studio and where it saves its data, just it didn't reflect what I was seeing. And if you look at my library now, there's just uh, there, it's corrected. And how did that happen? Well, all I did was uh, update Logic because you know there's already an update available so go to software update 
make sure you update Logic Studio and the entire Pro apps, you know, Soundtrack Pro, Main Stage, they all have updates ready for them, uh, depending on when, probably depending when you bought your version of Logic. So updating it fixed everything. So here I am with a fully updated version of Logic and as I was saying, these are where this is where things are stored. So, you know, so I don't know if you know this about the Finder, but if you go to View and then Show Path, um, oops, I accidentally launched and launched TextMate, and I didn't want to do that. So, this is the Macintosh hard drive library application support logic. This is where everything that is, all the factory settings are when you install Logic. Now if we go to my user library, application support, Logic. Uh, this is where everything that I save will be saved. So when I create my own channel strip settings and stuff, this is where everything's going to be stored. The other folder you'll be interested in is, uh, like I showed you earlier, your audio folder, which is in your users your user drive directory, library, audio, and there's also one in the Macintosh hard drive, library, audio, and the difference is obviously this is where factory stuff is stored, and this is and this is where um, the other one is where you the things you do are stored. So, so there you have it. This is Logic Studio, and now you can get started and start making some music, and we'll we'll talk more about what's under the hood and uh, and what we can do to to make your logic experience really exciting and fruitful with tons uh, tons of hours of amazing music so go get started talk to you soon if you're really serious about becoming a logic studio power user drop what you're doing and head to logicstudiotraining.com we've got hours of logic studio tutorials for beginners like you've seen here and some really advanced stuff to take your music to the next level see you there